Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I'm out in the Burning Steps, and we're specifically at the Ruins of Thurzen. If you're a Horde, this is really awesome, because the flight path is literally right there. If you're Alliance, you're going to be over here at Morgan's Vigil, so you have a little bit further to walk. Um, actually, Rich Thorium Vein right there, that's a good reason why this area is awesome if you're a miner or um, if you're an herbalist there's a lot of black lotus I already made my herbalist guide on there but the reason we're here is to farm these Thurzen um, they're spies agents but more most importantly Thurzen firewalkers which there's one right here and what these guys can drop is a pattern called a cinder cloth cloak and we're going to find this right here. I actually already have this learned. Um, and it takes five bolts of rune cloth and one essence of fire. Now, this cloak itself, pretty cheap to make, sells for about 10 gold, 11 gold per on my server. Crafting it, if I were to just buy the mats, I'd make seven gold per one and sell it on the auction house. But what makes these cloaks so important is with the release of. Blackwing Lair and Phase 3, you're going to need what's called an Anixia Scale Cloak. And we can see that right here via Atlas Loot. And what it does is protects the wearer from being fully engulfed by Shadow Flame. And that is an ability that Nefarian uses, the last boss in BWL, that will kill everybody. So, what we're going to do, and that's what makes it essential. Now, that's a Leatherworker part. And the cinder cloth cloak that you make from tailoring goes into the anixia scale cloak so it's like step one of that and then you have to find a leather worker who can make that which is step two and then i'd imagine you find an enchanter for step three but anyway what we're going to be killing are these thurzen firewalkers to get that pattern the pattern sells for over a hundred gold on my server right now and it's pretty freaking crazy um the Firewalkers do share a spawn with the others. It's a 1 and 3. They just drop pure silver as well as a lot of rune cloth. So you're going to want to kill the spies as well. Um, the cloak pattern is a 3% drop rate. Um, I try your best to avoid pulling War Reavers and stuff like that. They're not very worth it to pull. Um, you can get them up and AoE them if you have AoE. Um, I'm just sort of killing them single when I can um, because I didn't want to get them all together and then AOE the uh, um, stone guys right there. They do cast spells, so be aware of that. Um, and then these rogues will gouge you. Um, they are max level mobs, like they're 55-ish, so they do yield honor. If you're a warlock, you can get soul shards. As well as if you're um, just trying to uh, get some EXP while you're level 55 waiting for Blackrock Mountain stuff. Um, they can drop some pretty good BOEs as like Saffron Boots. I do believe they can drop a Shadow Blade, which I'm not sure what all can drop that. It's not too good of a dagger, but it is an epic dagger. As well as they are in the pool for a lot of the world epics at max level. They might be able to drop Freezing Band. Not 100% sure on that. But, you know, it's a pretty decent farm just in Runecloth and uh, sheer money. And most of all, you're right next to a flight path. And I believe there's a vendor there. So you can vendor if you need to. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. We're just going to farm this for an hour and see what we get in um, loot. And maybe if we're lucky, you know, we got that eye shadow in one freaking uh, kill. And then we got a golden pearl in five. So, you know, our luck's been pretty freaking good this new year. So hopefully we can keep with that, keep going, and get some good loot. Anyway, guys, I will fast forward, point out anything of note, and I will see you at the end for a nice, awesome review. See you then, guys. So, we are back a little bit earlier than usual. Um, I forgot to note that if you do kill all the ones over here at the Ruins of Thurzen, it does extend all the way over here a little bit to the um, west of the initial spot. 
Um, this is, I ended up killing everything over there pretty quickly. Um, and so we have to come here and kill them. Every location has a one in three chance to spawn the Firewalker. So if you get a bunch of spies and other stuff, you're going to have to, um, you know, kill them so you can get some more Firewalkers to up your Firewalker kills in an hour. Or however long you want to farm this. But it does have a 3% drop rate for the cloak pattern. I got pretty lucky with my first one. Um, back when I was farming stuff at the beginning. Not really recording stuff. So yeah. And if you're in a big guild. Um, see if your tailors have it or not. Because um, they will greatly appreciate this. Because come time to start making those cloaks. Depending how big your guild is and whatnot, They're going to be... They're going to have their hands full making them. I'm, I'm going to be making like 160 at least for all four of our raid groups. And yeah, so it's going to be fun for me to do. But anyway, guys, just wanted to give you that quick update to make sure you know that they can spawn over here and come over here to kill them. But other than that, we will head to the end and I will see you guys then. Whoop! Alrighty guys, so this is pretty unconventional uh, here, but we're stopping at 22 minutes and 21 seconds. So we will farm for 40, um, or for 30, or 28 more minutes, or god, 38 more minutes at another time. Because the elemental invasion in Ajara is up right now. So we're going to go there. We're going to record that and show you how awesome that farm can be. This is pretty rare. Um, if you don't kill the boss and just kill the elementals, you'll get a lot. But I just want to hold this here to show you that we've gotten 10 gold, 2 gold from looting. This item here is a pretty good one-handed mace that sells for 5 gold on the auction house or 2 gold to a vendor. And we'll DE it. But anyway, just wanted to let you know. Um, why we're pausing that and I'm headed to Ajara to show you what an elemental invasion looks like I'm so happy because these things are rare as world bosses um, And all the ads just spawn from portals and I really want to get this covered for you guys So that's what we're racing to do and yeah, I'll show you um, Some awesome information on this and I will see you guys then and I will get back to this video but this is a very rare occurrence, so we're pausing that. Save this time, save these numbers, and we'll get you the rest of the hour uh, later. Alrighty, guys. See you then. Whoop. Alrighty, guys. So we're back, and we're going after it, you know? We have a few... Uh, we had a few delays with our farm, and now we're uh, back here farming these... Fire Lords, we are the Dark Arthurzen Fire Walkers. That's what they are. Um, you know, this farm didn't seem too amazing at first, but it's definitely, uh, definitely worth it if you get the cinder cloth pattern from the Fire Walkers here. Um, but yeah, I had to stop to do that elemental earth invasion. That was the video two days ago It was really cool to actually get that covered and do it like I Had never like it's as rare as a world boss So that's why we paused this been unconventional in that sense But this farm is pretty much available always so if you're able to get these firewalkers and get that cinder cloth pattern off them it's a three percent drop rate so it, it's really good like you can do it um yeah it's just you know if you get it um one thing to note is when these firewalkers use their uh use their ability it's a stacking debuff so if you pull too many you will get a huge amount of stacks and probably die i did die once but luckily the graveyard is right there so you can get back here pretty freaking quickly but yeah like i'm cute for av so if you're farming av this is just a fun place to come uh kill stuff if you don't have professions like i'll spam my enchanting in orgrimmar while i'm grinding av so i can get uh enchants done and i do have every enchant so it's kind of uh great for me but for other people just looking for a quick farm if you're hearths to kargath q for av hearth fly right over here 
nice easy way to start to uh, farm it up. But anyway, guys, just wanted to give you a little situation report, things I learned what in the couple days from filming the first video. And we're going to grind this for 28 minutes, finish up the vid, and hopefully, if we're lucky, get that pattern. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Whoop! Alrighty guys, so my AVQ has proc'd as you can see here. I got a minute left before we go. I suppose I could just go here and kill the few uh, firewalkers. Just, you know, last minute hopes. But after farming this, we've killed about a hundred of them. Not all firewalkers. You know, they have a one in three chance to spawn in these locations. Um, but we didn't get lucky with the cinder cloth cloak. But, you know, your luck may differ. And it could be a really good farm for you. Um, but you're pretty much hinging on that. And if you're a tailor, you can make it and craft it and make a lot of money that way. Um, as well as if you have a leather worker, you could even go further and make it that Oni cape. But just something to keep in mind. Because I, I know for a fact on my server, it is going to skyrocket in pricing. And it very well could on your server as well. So... Just keep that in mind, and I would recommend getting one um, now as soon as you can before it's too late and uh, it becomes hundreds of gold instead of just ten. Um, but anyway, guys, that's it. We ended it about four minutes short of an hour, which is what I like to usually do. But my AVQ is going to take me back to Orgrimmar, and then I'm going to have to hearth back and run all the way back just for four minutes, and it just doesn't seem too worth it. But we ended at about... Um, Adding this on top of the gold before, it was about 30 gold in an hour, just in rune cloth, raw gold, and um, BOE greens that we were able to disenchant for some stuff or vendor. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have better luck than I did at getting your cinder cloth cloaks. See you later. Bye bye. If you made it to the ending, thank you so much for watching this video. It really helps. If you could, please share this with like one person you know because it would help me so, so much. I'd appreciate that. Really gets me going on this and can keep growing to make this sustainable and keep up this lifestyle. So I super appreciate it. And if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And thank you so very much. Bye-bye.